carotid endarterectomy is done in conditions in which there is obstruction to blood flow in the carotid arteries. Brain requires blood supply which is supplied by heart, we know that. And how it is supplied is through four principal channels of blood. These two carotid arteries, you can feel it in your neck, the main blood supply which you can feel here in the neck on either sides. And two smaller but much more important blood vessels which are deep down which are called vertebral arteries. Over time with age, we know as it happens in any tubular structure, there will be some collection of dirt uh, in water pipes for example. Like that this blood vessels will accumulate what we call as plaque, cholesterol deposition if you put it simply. Because of that, the vessel gets narrowed over time. Once it gets narrowed, as it gets narrowed, the blood flow gradually reduces. More importantly, the rough area on the plaque, sometimes because of the turbulent blood flow, gets eroded and it just throws a piece of that clot and that uh, uh, plaque into the brain. It enters into the blood and it gets into the brain. Once it gets into the brain, if it is small enough, it just slowly goes into some small crevice of the brain and gets absorbed and causes a small stroke which may not be noticeable. But if it goes to a particular important location, for example, speech area, the patient will have, the person will have arrest in speech, he can't speak, which will be very sudden. If it gradually gets absorbed, if the surrounding brain uh, takes care of that function, so slowly the person regains. It will be reversible in some fortunate individuals. But if the block happens in a more important, bigger blood vessel, then it will lead to a stroke, which may be permanent. So we need to identify once that kind of stroke as a warning happens we should find out the reason which may be in the carotid blood vessel and then to prevent a future such happening we will have to clear it by taking coring out that abnormal accumulation of plaque in the blood vessel. The surgery to do that is called carotid endarterectomy. There is a simpler procedure which you would have seen, you would have heard in heart where they do stenting of blood vessels to restore the blood circulation. Similar kind of stenting is possible in the carotid blood vessels to widen that area. But that kind of stenting is not possible in all the cases because there will be sometimes the calcium deposition, there will be a very dangerously situated thrombus or blood clot which may get dislodged even trying to open it up. In those cases, the gold standard is to go in through the neck, open up that blood vessel, slit it open and coring out all that abnormal accumulation of the plaque, calcium and cholesterol. Clearly wash it out, hold it both ends so that it won't get into the heart, get into the brain from the heart and then slit it open, core it out and close it, uh, the opening what we have done and then restore the blood circulation. This surgery is called carotid endarterectomy and once done, that risk of stroke is taken care of.